had music in the post and the music we had was records. We had a jukebox and a record player and we had and uh, people would come in and listen to music. About eight years ago one of our friends named Felino Clark came in and said he had just purchased a Hammond organ and it was once in a lifetime purchase and he, he had to get it but he had no place to put it. I asked him I want to put my ham and organ downstairs. And I said, sure, but it will charge you rent. You have to charge you rent. Or you have to play it, one or the other. I used to come in here just doodle around with the organ, playing Fridays and Saturdays, Sundays I was off. I'd come here, just hang out, a couple of drinks, play the organ, and the people loved it. And if I didn't show up, they would say, where is Selena? So it, you cannot identify or pinpoint any exact or specific moment, but there has been many times that uh, I felt very comfortable and uh, dedicated because of that. He agreed to play on Sundays and he would come in and entertain us on Sundays and during the week until Sunday became a day that jazz musicians throughout the city found that he was here and they were coming and sitting with him. Until now, we really have a wonderful Sunday, a jam session, people coming from all over the country to play, people coming from all over the country to listen. I know a lot of people, you know, uh, performing different clubs downtown, uptown, across town, wherever. And I tell them about it. They probably come here and uh, they say, where are you playing next? The American Legion. I was in France and I was getting more and more interested in the, you know, the roots of jazz. And basically, the capital for that in the world is New York, you know, so I came here just to check it out. Jazz has always been a part of Harlem. Um, I would imagine right now there are approximately 15 or 20 uh, bars and restaurants and clubs that have jazz performance. I think what makes ours unique uh, is that we have uh, no cost of fee to come in. People come in on Sunday night are music lovers and jazz lovers. They love to swing here. And that's what the essence of the music is about for me. You know, that's where the music came from. It came from feeling and swinging. I go back from the 60s to the 70s on up to the present. And it used to be clubs on every corner in Harlem. And I have an organ in every corner. <laughs> Playing here at the Legion allows me to, uh, you know, express myself in a different idiom, which is organ jazz. Harlem, I would say, is one of the uh, uh, savers.
saviors of that idiom, you know, because you can come up here and still find it. Still clubs that have an organ in them. I love playing with organ, you know, organ is just the thing that I love to do with the guitar. They just marry well together. I remember as a kid, you know, I used to love turning on like the AM radio. There was this DJ, and her name was Grandma Gigi. Yeah, she was an older lady, and she used to play all the organ jazz in the 60s. I used to love listening to, like, Charles Irwin. It was like a thing from the soul for me. It was, like, better than my soul since I was a kid. You know, I felt the music, you know. And playing here, you know, gives me that, you know, that feeling that I had when I was a kid. You know? When you walk into this room, you're not just walking into an American Legion. And, I mean, aside from the veterans that represent this place, I think that in the musical sense, though, you're walking into the constancy that Salino has kind of anchored in this music. Musicians like to have a place to hang. See, we're God's children. We all, we all love, we like family. We like to bring in some continuity within the groups of musicians. A lot of very successful musicians that travel all over the world We'll play downtown, and after they're done playing, we'll come up here to, to play. You always can meet different people here. Like, you never know who will pop in. Be some really fantastic musicians. I came in here one night, and uh, I sat down, and I looked over. And at the table sitting not far from me was George Benson. When your idol walks in, George Benson, and you're on the bandstand, you know, it's hard to play. <laughs> it's one of those things where you would dream about something like that happening. When it happens, you have to kind of brace yourself, especially it's on the same instrument and he's the person who put the standard here, in my opinion. And, um, you know, so I played and I, you know, I didn't play particularly well. I played okay, you know, I give myself maybe a B minus under pressure. <laughs> But he was very, you know, then I gave him my guitar to play and he was very gracious to me in saying I felt you. I like to vibe here. This is not the jazz standard. This is my living room. You see the old timers who live the music. And you got the young kids from the colleges coming and sit in. And you got the tourists, and you got, uh, you know, it's just such a nice diversity of uh, cultures, all in the same living room, you know, and that's pretty much what it's like, a living room, you know, a living room for jazz. You get people who do not have an opportunity to go downtown and sit in the jazz spot and, and pay the cover in minimum and listen to jazz. They can come here and really relax and know that, number one, the food is reasonable and delicious and good, that the drink that they get here is absolute and minimal cost, and that our whole purpose for being here is to service to the community.